Advanced searching techniques may be necessary to locate hard to find or very specific references. We will look at different ways to set up and improve your advanced search. On the Scopus homepage at the right where it says search tips, you will find detailed explanations of how to use different operators, how to enter accented and special characters, and how to make the search terms more general or very specific with brackets, quotes, and wildcards. Remember that there are multiple ways to develop your query. If I select limit underneath the search box, I will see that I can choose the date range to search as well as the document type access type also allows me to search only those documents that are open access. The fields above the search box allow searching by author and affiliation. I can also decide which fields to search by clicking on the down arrow beside article, title, abstract, keywords. The drop-down menu allows me to choose from a combination of all the searchable fields. Let's choose Advanced at the top under Document Search. On the Advanced Search page, a list of operators and field codes is shown on the right. Clicking the question marks will open a separate window that will take me to the Access and Use Support Center for complete explanations. Hovering over the operators will show a definition, and expanding the field show me an explanation of each one. Clicking the down arrows on the right will expand and show the different field codes with an explanation. Let's look at some examples of ways to use some of these advanced features. I'm looking for women who played important roles in the U.S. military for a paper, How Do I Set Up a Search? Let's start by planning our basic search terms. African American, women or woman, United States, and military. Now let's look at some examples of how to refine the query. First, we need to use quotes for African American to get that exact phrase. Without the quotes, Scopus will search for African and American throughout the search fields. Using a wildcard allows us to search for both women and women simultaneously, and we can also use quotes to limit the search to only the first woman or women, not all women. Same with United States military. This is what the query looks like when it's entered. I have four promising results. All are recent and two have been cited several times, but four may not be enough. How can I broaden this query a bit? One way is to use a proximity search. Entering w slash a number searches for a phrase that contains my search terms with up to that many words between them, i.e. w slash three will return my search terms with up to three words between them. By using the proximity of search, it increases my list to 18. On the left are ways to narrow the search by excluding subject areas such as medicine and psychology or requesting only articles so that books are excluded. I am short on time. I may want to search within my results with additional terms, or if I still don't have the correct references, I may want to expand my search. One way is to combine this search with a previous query. Click on Edit and return to the Advanced Search page. At the bottom, below Enter Query String, is the search history. Beside it is Combine Queries. Search 8 and 12, for instance, may expand my search.
After I have finalized my query, I can save it by selecting Save in the toolbar at the upper right-hand side. This allows me to come back and use it later. If I select Set Alert or Set Feed, Scopus will check and notify me automatically if the search terms locate any new items. This makes it possible to stay current on important new publications. Remember, for more information and tips about how to do advanced searches, go to Help on the type top right of the page. Click it and it will take you to the Scopus Access and Use Center. Or contact us here at the library. We would be happy to answer any of your questions.